Hello, Carla. Hello, buenas tardes. We're waiting for your classmates. I don't know. Hola. Have you have you talked to your classmates? Mm, casi no. Casi no hablamos con ellos. Solamente ahí por el grupo nada más. Okay, so uh, I'm asking this. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, so I'm asking for your classmates because they haven't uh, they haven't come to the class. So Ronnie is oyente says, and you here in the class, I'm gonna text them. I'm gonna send them a message right now to see if they are coming. We have classes. <clears throat> okay. So how was your week, Carla? Um, it was relaxing because we don't we don't went to work. Oh, you didn't go to work. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Because of the all the, all the week. Really? Yes. yes. Because of the rain. No, eh, because it, um, again. there was, oh, it was, um, como le digo, bueno, solo nos dijeron que había un paro, un oh. paro, pero tipo como de, um, de inventario, algo así. Oh. Inventory. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So from all the week, all the week you haven't gone to work. Yes, all the week. Okay, but you still get paid or not? Yes. Ah, well, that's good. Yeah, in that case, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> because the problem is when you don't get paid, right? Hmm. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, excellent. Good, good. Ana Yasmin, welcome to the class too. I, I see you're on the bus. Yes, teacher. On the bus. Okay. On the bus. You're going you're going to your house right now, right? Okay. 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 <laughs> In English, le vamos a decir. <laughs> La gaseosa del power. <laughs> ok, excellent, good, good. Bueno, de la nada aparecer ahí son dos por el dólar, como dice. <laughs> como iba que el bus de Calac. Ok, excellent. So thank you, you guys, for being here. I know you're in the public, on the public transportation. And I know, um, so we're busy. For what I can see, you're busy today. But I appreciate that you're here in the class and I appreciate that you are making an effort to be here, right? I see that um, Ronnie is an oyente today, like a listener. And then I have a message from David Celaya, who is also going to be a listener. So we have Carla and Ana Yasmin. So only two students. I hope the other students connect to the class. Um, wait a moment. I'm going to send a message. Maybe they can connect. Wait a moment. Oh. 
Okay. So anyways, I'm going to start because it's time already, it's 3 0 a and I suppose that you, that you are already connected or you are already working on the platform, right? Because it is very important to be working on the platform. We are going to do a review today of section one and section two, because those are the sections that you're supposed to be finishing. I believe this is the class number three. Yeah, this is the class number three for you. So you're supposed to be be done with section one and section two. These uh, two classes, so today and the 12th, we're gonna be working on section three, okay? Just to be there ready. Now I'm gonna go here, wait a moment that I need to look on the sections because we're gonna do a review. Um, are you working on the platform, Carla and Anna? Yes? Or no? Today you're going to yes. start. Okay, so yes, yes. Um, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Because remember that the section, as I told you before, the first classes, section one and section two, they have to be completed, right? And um, today we're going to start with section three, a little bit of section three. Let me look here on the platform because I... Well, we have been practicing um, the adverse of frequency. We have been practicing the, let me see, the questions on how to, uh, and let me see, health things, right? Let me see, I don't know, the platform is no loading. No me está cargando la plataforma. Wait a minute, it's gonna load. It's taking a while. So, but anyways, so we have been doing that. And um, today we're gonna talk a little bit, or I think we have been talking about the past. Also talk about there is and there are, like for I and I, I, I plural and I singular, right? And I also for uh, countable and uncountable nouns. That's what we're gonna be doing these days and uh, mainly talking about the simple past. So I have a question for you. Have you practiced the tongue twister? The ice cream, you scream, will scream for ice cream? Yeah? Uh -huh. Have you been practicing because I taught you that? Sí, lo practicamos. Okay. Okay. okay, 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 okay. I'm asking because we're gonna be um, working on that because that's gonna help you with pronunciation always, right? That is gonna help you there. Now, I'm gonna, I don't know why the platform is not loading in this moment. Just wait a minute, please. Okay. I think they are gonna send a message to your classmates because you are supposed to be here already. I don't know. Or maybe como han estado de vacación toda la semana, siente todavía la vacation, verdad? No, estamos en vacation, right? Sí. Right. Maybe ya les mandaron ahí un mensajito. Okay, anyways, uh, let's see if the platform, lo yeah, okay, so the platform is no loading. So anyways, you guys, uh, the last topics that I think we saw were the topics of, um, let me see, 
conversation, the how was your vacation? We were talking about the simple past with the regular and irregular verbs and the simple past with the verb to be that was and where, right? We did the true thing, uh, true truths, two truths and one lie, like um, with the adverse of frequency. And we have been studying the adverse of frequency and also the phrases of frequency, right? So let me, okay, so here it is. So this is what we have been studying, right? We did the introductions. We also did the adverse of frequency and phrases of frequency, like every week, once a week, um, or every other day, right? Do you remember what is every other day? Or every um, other week? Una vez a la semana. Oh, no, no, perdón. Era una vez sí, una vez no, algo así. Correct, correct. Una. So one time we do it, the other time we don't, right? So for example, if we say every other day is one day yes, one day no, right? One day no. And we say every other week. One, one way yes, one and way no. One week no, okay, correct. <laughs> so that's when we say every other, right? For example, as well as we can say every other year, every other month and all this stuff, right? Now, um, we play this game, like two truths and one lie. And the last topics we were reviewing were these topics about the simple past, right? Um, also, I thought you have to say like, es pan comido, es chiche, that like in Spanish, it from El Salvador, right? Is a piece of cake. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, I, I don't remember if I taught you this because I have two groups <laughs> at the same time, but this is like, instead of saying, hi, how are you, I'm good and you? You say, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Let's like, what's up? Like, que ondas, right? It's a more like um, informal way, not an informal way, it's another way of saying it, right? And can more complain relaxed. and relax, yes, chill, chill, yes, correct. And then what about you? Instead of saying, and you, that it sounds like, I don't know, too short and too formal and too common to say, you say, yeah, what about you? Can complain, like, yeah, no me quejo, no me quejo. Can complain because I have been in vacation in my house. <laughs> so instead of saying, yeah, I'm good, so can complain. Okay, you guys, um, we're gonna continue and we're gonna do a practice and I'm gonna see if you are good with this. So, Carla, can you say it? Excuse me, repeat me. Repeat can, you, me. Can, can you say this? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, ice cream, do you scream? We all scream for ice cream. Excellent. Good job. And I know you're on the public transportation. If you want to get home, Lo podemos hacer cuando llegue a casa. Si no, si quiere. Este, yo voy a llegar a la casa como entre unas esas tres horas por el tráfico oh, que hay. Oh my God, está muy lejos entonces. Sí, pensé que iba a llegar a tiempo, pero hay bastante tráfico. Ok. Bueno, no sé si le da un poquito de así, porque va en el transporte o quisiera practicarlo. Como se me diga. Bueno, lo importante es practicar. Eso, eso. I stream, you stream, we are stream for I stream. Excellent, good job. Thank you, Ana. Thank you. Ok, vamos con Melanie. Melanie, welcome to the class too. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm good. Excellent, excellent. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Excellent, good job. Thank you, thank you very much for that. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk to you and because we practiced the simple past already, I'm gonna talk to you about the activities you did in this past week, right? As I know, and I believe you have been, or oh, I don't know, like everybody, everybody didn't go to work this week or did you go to work? Because Carla Sofia told me that it was off, right? So Melanie, you have been going to work or not? <clears throat> Excuse me, please. <clears throat> uh, did you work this week? No. 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 
Okay, so nobody went to work this week, okay. So we're gonna talk about the activities we did during this week. So what do I want you to do? Because we studied the simple past in the last classes, right? So we're gonna do this activity. You're gonna write five sentences about what you did this week, okay. So this past week, and then you're gonna tell me five sentences. I stayed home, I cleaned the house, for example. Si solo paso durmiendo, you can say, I slept a lot. <laughs> I slept a lot. I drank a lot of coffee, okay? I tomé mucho café. And these are like sentences for me. I, what else do I do? Oh, I went to the cemetery. Wait, I don't know how to write cemetery in English as well. Wait. Cemetery. Okay, so I went to the cemetery. So these can be sentences. These are like sentences for me, and I want to see sentences about you. So uh, remember that what it is important here is that the verb needs to be in the simple past, right? Because we're talking about the activities we did. They are in the past. So here in the in the chat, on in the on the Zoom, oh, I mean, <laughs> on the Zoom chat. You're gonna send me the um, the sentences about the activities you did during this week. Okay? Yes. Is it clear? Okay. I'm gonna be checking. If you have questions about a bird, you can ask me.
using the the the, the answers to the to the chat, okay? Y para decir comí café y pan, solo, solo se dice comí o tomé. You can o, say I had, I had it. I had it. I had it. Yeah. Coffee and bread. Yeah, I had coffee and bread. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Y para decir ordené, pero de comida. Orders, yeah. Orders, yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay, I only have Carla Sofia. The only ones can send me the, the, the sentences. It's okay.
Okay. I'm waiting for Marleni. <laughs> no, Melanie, Melanie, Marleni. I'm changing your name, Melanie. I'm waiting for Melanie and I'm waiting for Ana Yasmin, okay? Okay, I have it here. I have Melanie, okay? I bought. Me encanta cómo vamos en el lenguaje del, del, del bus, ¿verdad? I love it. I bought a new dress. I went to the market. I came to my bedroom. I stay in my home. I I cut my hairs, my baby's hair. I don't know how to do the least. Teacher, verdad que yo pensé que eran oraciones, como que se les escuchaba. Ajá, sí, sí, las oraciones, así las están mandando al chat aquí. Ay, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo pensé que les iba a preguntar. No, no, sí, si ya van a poner ask, así les voy a preguntar, pero primero las iban a hacer. Ah, pues, ahorita se las mando. Ok. Solo no me lo vayan a pasar sacando el teléfono por ahí. Please, be careful. Si, le pide, si, si lo piden, no voy a pedir el chip, oye. <laughs> so, yes, I have been in my house, too, because, um, like, you know, I'm a teacher. So they um, set the alarms. So we had, like, the red alerta roja right red so uh, we couldn't go to the school so i have i have been in my house i just went to work yesterday <laughs> i went to the school yesterday that was the only day that i went but online i have been working all days online yes because those classes were not suspended but in the school yes yes i didn't go to the school only friday so yes, I slept a lot too. I had a lot of um I had a lot of naps. Do you know what is a nap? Una siesta. Yeah. I had a lot of naps <laughs> during the morning. I woke up late in the mornings. Yeah, the thing is I don't have any any like I don't know. I don't have kids. And I live in my own house. So, yeah, <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to take a break. And I took a break. I took a break. Okay, so um, we're going to say what we did. Uh, you can say the sentences that you did. I'm going to start and I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it like this. Okay. So this past week, I'm going to change my sentences. Voy a cambiarlas como están ahí. So I didn't go to work. I stayed home. I took a lot of naps. I woke up late. And I ate pupusas. Uh, Co I had coffee and I have milk and I watched and I watched TV series. I watched two TV series these days. Okay, so what about you, Carla Sofia? What did you do these days? Uh, this past week, I slept all day. I went to, to market. I ate pollo campestre. <laughs> I went to cemetery. I visit my aunt and I had a lot of coffee and bread. Excellent. Good job. Excellent, Carla. Visited. Okay. Visited. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, who do you choose now, Carla? Do you choose Melanie or do you choose Ana Yasmin? Melanie, porque Ana ya es bien ocupada ahorita, no hace que le roben ahí el teléfono. <ríe> okay. Vamos a decir las oraciones que dijimos. Yeah, you're gonna tell me what you did this last week. Ah, bueno. 
I bought, en la corrección. Yeah. I bought a new dress. I went to the market. I clean in my bedroom. I stay in my house. Y I cuted the hairs of my baby. Y I didn't go al cemetery. And you no didn't go to the cemetery? Okay, okay, excellent. You don't like to go? Eh, como que aquí no mucho, eh, por eso de que todos han crecido siendo cristianos, no. Oh, no okay. So it's no not practican a... ir en estas fechas. Sí se va otro día, pero en, por la fecha que por no seguir tradiciones. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no mucho se practican. Se va tal vez ya después o otro día. Okay, okay. I, I understand. I understand. Yeah, okay. I, I understand. It is understandable. Excellent. Thank you, Melanie. So I didn't go to the cemetery either. So I didn't, but just because, um, I don't know. Okay. So I don't have anyone in the cemetery. Like, um, how can I say this? I have family in the cemetery. Okay. But no family that I knew. So maybe they died when I was a baby. So it is not that I had a lot of memories with them. So I don't remember, maybe my grandpa and my uncle, but I don't have memories about them. So usually my mom or my grandma, they go to the cemetery, right? But not in my case. Maybe I'm, I'm more like going to the cemetery and I will go to the cemetery when I have family, like family there, you know? when I have someone that lives with me or had lived with me or my parents or something like that, I hope it's not soon. I hope it's not soon, but <laughs> yeah, because I know people go to the cemetery when they have a really close member of the family or friend in the cemetery, right? That's, that's when we go even more, right? Okay, but I like the tradition in Mexico. It's so beautiful. It's, it's amazing. That is like, and bringing the food and they do this, all these kind of decorations and they stay at night there. They stay at, stay at night, in the night they are there and they enjoy the food and they share with the fam. It, it's so beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah, I love it. Okay, excellent. Now, yes, Ana Yasmin, it is your turn. So if you can tell us, you can, what did you do? If you can tell us your sentences. Este, si, no puede, si no puede decir sus oraciones. Okay. I started a lot yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I ran on the field. Last week I played Mario Six. Four, sixty-four. Mm -hmm. I eat cake. Okay. I order pizza. Excellent. Good job. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is a story, funny story, like Anna Yasmin talked to us about pizza. So do you know Little Caesar, right? You know Little Caesars? Okay, so I went to Little Caesars. Uh, I believe it was, on, I don't remember, it was on Monday probably that I went to Little Caesar or something like that. And I ordered a super cheese, you know, like with the, the borders with cheese and stuff. So I ordered a super cheese. When I got home, it was night, it was at night. When I got home, I saw the pizza and it was the normal $5 pizza. And I pay seven dollars with seventy five cents for my pizza, and I didn't have the cheese, so I was like, "Oh my God, what am I going to do?" But I am that kind of customer. Yo soy ese tipo de cliente that if I don't like something, I say something. Yo digo algo, right? If I don't like it, me ha pasado en muchos lugares. And so I I sent a message to Little Caesar, and I said, "Hey, listen, I pay seven dollars and seventy uh, seventy five cents." And I send them the the receipt, the, the the receipt, right? The receipt, the receipt. I send the receipt, and I said, okay. So I paid for this, and I got this five dollar pizza. So then they asked for my number, 
my phone number, my name, and my email address. And then they didn't say anything for two days. So then I sent a message, message again. I was like, so I haven't get any answers to my to my request. I haven't gotten any answers to my request about the pizza. I don't know if they are going to give me back, I don't know, the two dollars, <laughs> but whatever. And they say, hey, listen, we are sorry about the situation that happened to you. And we care about the customers. And thank you very much for share, sharing your feedback. You can go to the Little Caesar that is closer to you. And you can order a new super cheese for free. So I went to the to the store and I got another pizza. So yeah, for, $5, for $7.25, I got two pizzas. <laughs> this past week so i ate pizza twice this week twice okay <clears throat> that has happened to me every time that i don't like something i complain and sometimes they give good good things okay you guys so we're gonna do a review <clears throat> i think we um we did section one with you like completed i'm gonna do a review of section two of the homeworks and then we're gonna go with section three let me show you. <clears throat> okay, so the first exercise we have here is the exercise uh, 2.4 that it says, complete this conversation, questions and answers must be in simple past. So um, here we have, this is a question and obviously it needs to go in the simple past. To go in the simple past, first we need did and then we need the verb in the base form. So what do you think is the correct answer? Did a state, state, or did stay? One, two, or three? Three. Number three, right, excellent. Then we have the number two. So this is a negative, okay? So I need uh, an auxiliary and the verb. And then here, this is an affirmative, so I need this verb to be in the past. So what do you think is the correct? One, two, or three? One. One, it is correct. So I didn't call my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. How? So this is a, an auxiliary and this should be the verb in the simple present or in the base form. So one, two, or three? Three. Correct. I, so this is an affirmative statement, so this verse should be in the past. Everyone in the past too, it but the neighbors, so this should be an auxiliary and the very the simple present. So what it is? One, two, or three? Mm. Two. Two. Correct. Correct. So this is a question. It should be an auxiliary. This should be the verb in the base form. One, two, or three. La uno. The one. Number one. Okay. The one. Number one. <laughs> okay. This is an affirmative. So the verb needs to be in the past. And this two. So two verbs in the past. One, two, or three. three. <clears throat> Correct. Mm -hmm. Because the past of go is went, right? <clears throat> Let's go with number seven. <clears throat> so this verb needs to be in this in the base form. Here we need an auxiliary. So one, two, or three. Mm -hmm. Two. Two. <clears throat> yeah. Next, yes, I, auxiliary, verb in the past and verb in the past. Three, 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 three. Two. Three. Number one. No, number, number one, yes, is number one, correct. Here an auxiliary and here the verb. One, two, or three. <clears throat> number two correct number 
the key, here we need an auxiliary. So what it should be? Number one. Number one? No, I didn't. Okay, let's check. Correct. That is correct. So that was the first exercise of uh, section two, like a review. And here we have this. I believe this is a listening. Yeah, this is a list. So we have here a listening about what did you do last night, right? So I'm going to share the audio. And we're going to listen. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then, we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, let's listen one more time. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then, we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, so let's answer the questions. It says, who had a boring time? Laura, John, or both? Two. <clears throat> John. John, correct. Who had a good time? Laura, John, or both? No. Laura. Who met an old friend? Laura, John, or both? Laura. John or Laura? Laura. Laura? Mm -hmm. Who got home late? Laura, John, or both? Both. Both. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Let's do one more and then one will have one more. So this is the verb B, okay? So we're going to use was or where, right? Remember the past of the of the verb be is was or where. So we have here um how long and then your parents. So your parents is a plural. So it should be was or where. Where. Where correct. Then they was or where. Where. Where correct. They was or where. Where? Correct. No, they ought. So this is negative. So it should be? Where? Weren't. Weren't. And you in Los Angeles, you, was or where? Yes. Where? Where is you, right? <clears throat> no, I? Was. Wasn't. Okay. This is wasn't. Negative, right? yeah. Wasn't. How it was aware? Was. How was it? Yeah. It, it was, was was you were were you and yes I 
Correct. Good job. So it says, how long were your parents in Europe? They were there for two weeks. Were they in London the whole time? No, they weren't. Uh, they also went to Paris. Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? No, I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. How was it? It was great, but it was foggy. Do you know what foggy means? Foggy. No. Nublado, like, pero nublado con neblina. Okay. Foggy. And then, were you away last week? Yes, I was in Istanbul. Okay. Perfect. Let's go with the last exercise of this section, and then we go fully with section number three. So this is another listening. In this listening, you have to pay attention. Be really careful, and let's answer with the correct answer. Let's see if I can share the, yeah. We're going to listen twice as well, one time and then another time. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. Excellent. So we're gonna answer. Where did Jason go? San Francisco. San Francisco. Did he enjoy it? Yes. Yes, he did. Where did Barbara go? Home. Home. She stayed home, right? She didn't go out. She stayed home. And did she enjoy it? Yes. Yes, she did. Teacher. Yeah. Miss. Me, eh, yeah. Por lo menos hubo algunas de que solo una, solo, digamos, eh, no, no aceptaba como completa la oración, por lo menos, yes. He did, y así no las aceptaba. Ah. Tuvimos problema en eso, porque yo no lo podía hacer. Yo hasta que pedí ayuda. Um, porque ah. se lo resolví y, o sea, no me aceptaba la, la respuesta de yes, he did, o yes, she did. Solo yes, or... Uh -huh. Solo yes. yes. Y sin el punto, yes. porque si le poníamos el punto, lo Ajá. Tiramos. no las aceptaba. Really? Ajá. Yeah, también. Yes, 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 Igual donde, donde dice stay home, solo home aceptó. Ajá. Por eso no lo podíamos. Y, y realmente pregunta que dónde. Eh, ¿Qué hizo ella? ¿O dónde fue? Y, y, y 
y la respuesta sería un poco más ex extendida, digámoslo así, y solo aceptaba así nada más. Pero ¿qué aceptó she stayed at home? So maybe I don't know. Pero bueno. a nosotros, bueno, a nosotros no, va. no sé. No ¿Ya sé lo tienen qué. así? O sea, después cuando lo pusieron así. la plataforma fue que creo que lo corrigieron, porque igual yo sí ponía she Ajá. Stayed... She, no. Yo le puse she stayed home y no me lo aceptaba. Y ahí estuve. Hasta creo que tengo una captura de eso que no lo podía hacer. Oh, okay. Pero, Pero ya lo tienen todo correcto. You got sí, así, así, ajá. Ok, ok. Porque si no les iba a decir que tomaran una captura de esas respuestas. Ok, bien. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Gracias por dejármelo saber. Ok, so, yes. Sometimes remember that the platform is not... Um, no, 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 la plataforma no lo va a ver así como nosotros, ¿verdad? Los humanos. The platform is just gonna be like... Si me pusieron punto, con punto. Si no pusieron punto, sin punto, ¿verdad? So it's gonna be like that. So thank you very much anyways for that. Okay, let's continue here uh, with the class uh, for the section number three. This is section number three. We're gonna learn a little bit about there is, there are some. Yeah. And, but before we go with that, we need to start with a conversation that we have here. So let me share the conversation with you. So this is the conversation. I'm going to play twice the conversation and then we're going to practice. <coughs> Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay, listen one more time. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? You know, she's mentioning the barber shop. <laughs> Because uh, the man has so, a long hair, right? And the old ladies, they don't like the long hair. <laughs> they don't like the long hair. They say, like, it is not correct, okay? So I'm going to read, read it one time. And if you have questions about pronunciation or meanings, you can ask me, okay? Excuse me. I'm, remember, it's not I am. It's I'm your new neighbor. What is neighbor? Vecino. Correct. Jack, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Do you have questions? Laundromat. Like a place where they can uh, wash the clothes? Um, so in the United States, they have places where they go and they can uh, 
wash the clothes there. Like they have different washing machines and, and, and stuff like that. I think here in El Salvador is not common. Do you know what it is? No? Do you get the idea? Si, si saben la idea como they have a lot of washing machines and you pay to the washing machines to wash your clothes and then they have dryers, secadoras, and then you can dry your clothes there too. This is very common in big cities in the United States because there are a lot of apartments. They don't have washing machines. But here in El Salvador, all we need is a lavandero and a pila, right? And then we're ready to go. <laughs> okay. So, uh, laundromat. Yeah, that's the pronunciation, laundromat. Okay, I'm going to read it one more time and then I'm going to send you an audio so you can practice and then we can practice all together. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I am looking for, well, I am, I'm sorry, I am, okay. I am, I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, let's send the audio. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor. Jack, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any? Jack, excuse me. I'm your new neighbor. Jack, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes. There are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, let me send the screenshot to the group too. Okay, I'm going to give you five minutes for you to practice the conversation yourself, uh, and then we're going to do it here together, okay? Like everybody here. Herbert, welcome to the class. Okay, there on WhatsApp, you have the audio and the picture, so you can practice.
Okay, one more minute and then we practice together. One more minute. Okay, let's practice all together now, okay? So first, I'm gonna practice with Carla Sofia, then Carla Sofia with Melanie, then Melanie with Ana Yasmin, and Ana Yasmin, no, I mean, Carla Sofia with Melanie. Melanie with Ana Yasmin. Wait, <laughs> let me organize my head. Carla with Melanie, Melanie with Ana, Ana with Carla, yes, like that, yes, yes. Okay, Carla, uh, you start now, you're Jack, and Melanie, you're Mrs. Day. I'm Jack. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Pine, Pine Street. Pine. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. Bye. The way there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? <laughs> Excellent, good job. Now, Melanie, you're Jack, and Ana Yasmin is Mrs. Day. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some from my street. Oh, good. And um, is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there I is there one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is barber uh, shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Excellent. Good job. Now, Anna, you're gonna be Jack, and Carla, you're gonna be Miss, D Miss Day. I mean, Mrs. Day. Okay. Excuse me, and your neighbor, Jack, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I am looking for grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. I think her internet is connected maybe because she's in the bus. Se quedaron en... Oh, good. Cool. And is there... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you, Carla. Thank you. Uh, well, I think you can. By the way, there is a barbershop in the shopping center too. A barbershop. Okay, excellent. 
<laughs> Thank you for making the effort. I know it's difficult, even more when we are in the public transportation, it is not the best way, right? But thank you very much for making that effort. That is very important for us. Okay, you guys, let's continue now, okay? So this uh, here, it's when you are looking at there is and there are. As you know, there is and there are in English, or is there to mention like I, the haber, right? Something. There is is for singulars and uncountables, and there are is for uh, plurals, right? Now, do you know what is a countable noun and uncountable noun? Yes. Contables or e incontables. Correct. So we have countable nouns and we have uncountable nouns. A countable noun can be, for example, a cup. This is countable. But what it is inside, the water, is uncountable, right? So for example, my fingers, they are countable. One, two, three, four, five, right? But the air, it's uncountable, right? Now, I have a question for you. Do you think the stars are countable or uncountable? Uncountable. They are countable. Because if you see the a star in the sky, you say there is one star, two stars, three stars, four stars, right? You can count them. They are infinite. Yes, they are. But if you see them in the sky, you can count, right? Excellent. Good. Now, um, I have another question. For example, the money. Money is countable or uncountable? I think is uncountable. Uncountable. Okay. Why? Por qué? Why? <laughs> Porque hay mucho dinero en el mundo, no sé, no se puede contar. Hay que contar lo que hay yo mucho, tengo. Pero nosotros no lo tenemos. Hay mucho, pero no para nosotros. No, quién sabe, quién sabe. Look at this. Listen. The money is uncountable. Yes, it's uncountable. But the concept of the money is uncountable. Then the currency, do you know what is a currency? So currency is the money they use in a, a specific country, for example. Currency in El Salvador is dollar. The currency in Mexico is pesos. The currency in uh, Spain is euros, right? So the currency is countable, but the money La is... La moneda, digámoslo así, correct. como... Yes. So the currency, the currency is countable, but the money is uncountable. For example, listen to this. One dollar and one peso, they are the same or not? Right? They are not the same because they have different value. So for example, one euro and one dollar, are they the same? They no. Are not. So there's why money is uncountable. For example, if I ask you, how much money do you have? ¿Cuánto dinero tiene? You're not going to answer, I have five monies. Tengo cinco dineros, right? You're not going to say I have five monies. You're going to say I have five dollars. I have five quarters. I have five euros. I have five uh, pesos. Right? So the currency is countable. But the money is uncountable. Yeah? There is the difference between the two of them, money and currency, okay? So now I'm gonna show you here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, what happened? Give me a second, I don't know. Something happened here. No, I don't want this. What is this? Okay, here. Wait a minute. I'm gonna send you an exercise. So you can classify the countable and the uncountable nouns, okay? Let me.
que viene la Navidad. We have the Christmas in the corner. Déjenme que no me aparece el ejercicio que les... Ok, here it is. Yeah, here it is. Contable. Ok, we're going to do this exercise, miren. Do this exercise. So in this exercise, uh, you're going to classify the different words we have here in countable nouns or uncountable nouns. For example, sweets. These are dulces. Sweets is a countable noun or an uncountable noun? What do you think? Sweets? Uncountable. Countable? Okay, we're going to leave it there. Rain, la lluvia. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Yeah. Frogs, sapos. Countable or uncountable? Countable. Dust is el polvo. It's countable or uncountable. What mean dust? Like polvo. ¿Cómo? Polvo. Ah. Uh, uncountable. Okay, so you're gonna do that. And then here in this other part, you're gonna uh, add cuál se necesitaría. Por ejemplo, she has long hair or she has a long hair. Ella tiene un pelo largo. She has a long hair o no necesitamos nada. She has long hair, nada más. A long hair. In this case, yo creo que no va a pasar nada. Ya vamos a ver. Aquí, uh -huh. a lot. There uh -huh. is no, a lot o there are a lot of water. There is a lot of water o there are a lot of water. A lot. Uncountables. Usamos there is para los uncountables, ¿ok? There are many vehicles, o the, there is, o there are many vehicles, vehículos. Countable, right? So, are. So, you're going to do that. Then you're going to click on finish. Wait, I'm going to share the link first. I'm going to check my answers. And let's see. Tenemos, oh, no. It's incorrect. What is correct? I don't know. ¿Se ve correcto o incorrecto? There are many vehicles. I think it's correct. Let me check some. How was it made? Drug element, drug element, top element, top element. Single choose, single choose, single choose, single choose. Oh, bueno, no le va a dar la nota. Hasta que me lo manden a mí, yo lo tengo que revisar. <laughs> Así que no van a saber si hasta que lo vea yo. Ok, ahí tienen. Luego me mandan una captura a WhatsApp. Ahí están trabajando en eso para mientras. If you have questions, me pueden preguntar. ¿Se entiende la actividad? You get the activity? Yeah, ok. Me dan un segundito. Eh, por si me hablan, me voy a levantar un segundito. Todavía regreso. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
Okay, I'm back. ¿Cómo vamos? How's it going?
forms. How is it going? All good? Robin? <laughs>
¿Cómo vamos? <ríe> How is it going? ¿Ya casi terminamos? Yes. Dame una señita para yo saber que yes o no. Carla, Melanie, Ana. Sí me escuchan, ¿verdad? Ah, vaya, ya me estaba afligiendo. Sí. Okay. ¿Todavía están trabajando? ¿Yes? Eh, sí, yo lo hice, pero todo me salió malo. ¿Pero ya lo terminó? Sí. Vaya, este, solo vamos a revisarlo. Ahí déjelo. Así como hace, ya... rato, hace un buen rato, pero lo intenté volver a hacer otra vez. Eso estaba ahí, porque, pues sí, solo una me salió buena. De... Una de diez me salió. Vaya, hagámoslo <risa> together, vaya, hagámoslo juntos, ¿ok? Los de 10 me salieron a mí, lo estoy volviendo a hacer. Es que creo que no da el... el... No, aquí en la está la respuesta. Aquí ven. Arriba, en la esquinita lo tiro. Uno de 10 me sale a mí. Dos de 10 me salieron a mí. Sí, pero me estoy viendo. Es que no lo tira realmente. Ya me copia. <ríe> vale que no lo dicen en frente de mí. <ríe> Vaya, sweets para mí es countable, the rain is uncountable, the frogs is countable, the dust is uncountable, the wind is uncountable, the potatoes are countable. The water is uncountable. The air is uncountable. The hair is uncountable. The butter, butter, butter is uncountable. The books are countable. The animals are countable. The boxes are countable. The pictures are countable. The teachers are countable. <clears throat> the salt is uncountable. The smoke is uncountable. The money is uncountable. The boys and children, they are, they are countable. Boys and children, right? Veamos el siguiente. Has a long hair. Vamos a ponerle A. A ver si lo toma con A. There is, there are a lot of water in the yoke. No, there is a lot of water. There are many vehicles. There too much traffic on the road. There is. How is this jacket? How much is this jacket? How bananas? Bananas? There are many around. Oh. Grass. No. Many grass, no children. There are many children around the pond. Que grass es un singular. There are many grass. There are many grass. grass. Don't add salt to the curry. There are a lot of books on the shelves. The water in the well is clean. There are a lot of toys in the trunk. Let's check. Todas las manos. Oh my God. Esto es porque ellos lo tienen malo, pero si lo tienen así como lo he puesto yo, lo tienen correcto, ¿ok? Sí. Ve, usted le tiró t-shirt como malo y a mí me lo tiró como bueno. ¿Cuál le tiró t-shirt? T-shirt, ajá, y aquí lo tira como malo y a mí me lo tiró como bueno. Yeah. yeah. Children, potatoes. Solo children y t-shirts me tomó como bueno. A mí solo sweet, dulce y t-shirts. A mí solo sweet y potatoes. <risa> yeah. Pero si lo tienen así como yo lo he hecho, es correcto, ¿ok? Si lo tienen así, es correcto. Okay. En la segunda parte, sí, yo le puse grass y el otro dos, pero de ahí lo demás sí está como. Ok, ok. Entonces verifiquen, rectifiquen con el mío, ¿ok? A menos que yo tampoco sepa inglés y a saber qué estamos haciendo aquí. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing here. Ok. Okay, 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 that is good. Okay, if you did it like that, then you are correct, okay? Let's see, mm -hmm. yeah, let's go. 
So we're gonna listen to an explanation about there is and there are, and then I'm gonna give you an explanation. Con eso de much, many, a lot of, so we can understand, para que entendamos, okay? Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes there is or no there isn't. If your answer is yes there is, you may continue by saying yes there is. There is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronic store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Okay, so here is using the prepositions of place with there is and there are, right? So to mention some things that are in a place, we use there is or there are. But I just want to explain to you something else. And it is this. So we have there is and we have there are. What it is important to know is there are, we use it only for plurals, when you want to talk about something in plural. But there is, we use it in two situations. The first situation is for singulars, but you can also use it for uncountable nouns. Okay. So for example, You can say, there is a house, there is a house in front of my office, okay? In this case, we're using there is with a singular, okay? A meaning uno o una, right? So there we can use it with singulars. Now, but we can also use it with an uncountable noun. For example, there is, there is water in the fridge. So in this case, I'm using it with an uncountable noun. So I'm not using with a singular because water is uncountable, right? So again, I can use there is with uncountable nouns, but here, I can only use this part with plurals. So for example, there are, there are some books, there are some books on the table, 
for example, right? There are some books on the table. Or I can use a number too. There are three, um, there are three parks in my city. Hay tres parques in my city, okay? So again, there is, we use it with singular and uncountable nouns, and there are, we use it with plurals, okay? Only with plurals. Questions so far? Preguntas? Questions? No? Okay. So if you don't have questions, let's go on again now with some, any, a, uh, and n. Okay. We can use some. We can use any. We can use a uh, or n. Or we can use numbers, so many numbers. Okay. So some we use it for plurals. We use it for plurals, and we use it for uncountables. Those examples. There are some um, trees in my yard. Do you know what is yard? Mm, como jardín o el... Uh... It's like patio, right? Patio. Ah, el patio. That is a big patio, right? So there are some trees in my yard. Or I can use it with uncountables. So there is some, there is some dust, there is some water, I'm going to say. There is some water in the floor. Okay? So I'm saying that there is some water in the floor, right? On the floor, I mean, it's on the floor because it's, there is not inside on the floor. It's up on the floor. Okay? So some, we can use it for those things. Now, when can we use any? So any, we're going to use it for negatives. Okay? For negatives. Or we can also use it for questions, okay? Here is an example. There aren't any trees in my yard. So this is the opposite of what we just did. There aren't any trees in my yard. Or I can say there isn't any water on the floor. So here I'm using it as a negative. But also I can use it in questions. For example, are there any, are there any trees on your yard? In your yard? You can say yes, there are. Yes, there are. Or you can say, no, there aren't. No, there aren't. Okay. Also, you can use, is there any water on the floor? Is there any, three, any water on the floor? Again, this is questions, right? And you can answer it both ways. Yes, there is. Or you can say, no, there isn't. Okay? So again, some we're going to use it with plurals and uncountables like this. And in affirmative sentences. So I forgot to add that. With affirmative sentences or positive statements. And any, we use it in negatives and we use it in questions, right? Okay. Now, questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? No questions? Okay. If you can take a screenshot, si quieren puede tomar un screenshot para que les quede esa información. And then I'm going to explain A and, and the numbers.
Okay, I'm gonna do the other explanation. Okay, let's delete this. And let's go now with A and and numbers. So we're gonna use A or N with singulars, okay? And we use A plus a word starts with a consonant, right? And we use N plus word that starts with a vowel, okay? Both of them, A and N, mean the same thing, right? A, N, they mean un o una, right? Un, uno, una. They, are the they have the same meaning, A or N. But the difference is we, when we use them, okay? So when do we use them? When do we use them? We use them with these ones, for example, we go with consonants. For example, a house, a pool, a car, a um, pen, a library. This is and then we use these ones with vowels, an orange, an apple, an elephant, and office. Okay? Do you understand that? So as you can see, next to it, this one is consonant, 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 consonant and consonant. And all of these ones right here, they are vowels, 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 and vowels. So again, we're gonna use N with words following a vowel. And A or A, because some people say it like A, with words that start with consonants. Is that clear? Yes? Okay. And then we're gonna use numbers. Wait a minute. We're gonna use numbers wait, with plurals, okay? Plurals, like this. There are two, there are two houses. Or for example, there are uh, three parks. Oh. There are four pencils, okay? So you're gonna use there are with numbers because they are plurals, right? Numbers and plurals, there are, you're gonna use them together. And with singulars, you're gonna use this one. You can also use one, right? Like one, solo one. Questions so far? Pregunta sobre esto hasta ahora? No questions, it's all good up here. <laughs> oh my god, ya casi terminamos la clase. I didn't notice. Ya, ya, hasta, 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 hasta le volvió el... el, el, el ya le picaré. <laughs> Teacher. Yeah. Teacher, una pregunta. Este, mañana va a haber clase. No, tomorrow we don't have classes. Ya les voy a explicar bien cómo va a ser. Ah, ok. Yes, bueno, yo. Pero en cuanto a esto, ¿estamos todo clear, you guys? Yes. Yes. Ok. okay. So, what I have here, oh my God, it's dark. Uh, what I have here, let me show you. Sí. So, you have a class today, today you won't have classes. Uh, next Saturday, you don't have classes. You're gonna have classes next Sunday, the 12th, okay? Sería el 12 de, de noviembre y el 13. 
12 y 13. Creo que ese es su próximo descanso, ¿verdad? Sí, aparte de este pequeño gran descanso que han tenido. Hmm. <laughs> And then we have classes again el 20th, el 20. 20 vamos a tener clases de nuevo. <coughs> y de ahí, uy, como que se desconectó la compañera. No, ahí viene la nueva. El 20 y luego las dos últimas clases serían el 27 y el 28. Ok. So, solo nos quedan cinco clases ya. 12 y 13. 20, 27 y 28. ¿Sí? No sé si nos logró escuchar a Nayasmin por ahí. Repita por favor la, las, las últimas cinco clases. Sí. 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 Ok, ahorita les repito. No volvemos a tener clases hasta el 12. El 12 y 13. O sea, domingo y lunes. 12 y 13. ¿Sí? Okay, es que, ah, vamos a tener clases el 12, que es domingo. 12 domingo y 13 lunes. Son los días que tienen libres, creo yo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, 12 y 13. Y después no nos vemos hasta el próximo lunes 20. Y martes 21. No. Solo el 20 vamos a tener esa clase. Esa semana solo la clase del 20. Y de ahí vamos a tener el 27 y el 28 de noviembre. Ah, ¿Sí? Ok. Bien. Ok. Yes. Estamos ahí ready. Good. Entonces repito. Ahora no hay clases. Mañana hasta el 12 y el 3. Ya el 12 y el 13, si quieren que les vuelva a repetir, yo les vuelvo a repetir cuando es la próxima clase. Ok. Sí, no, sí, lo, lo único que también ahí hay un es enlace del calendario. Y voy a reprogramar el domingo, sí, sí. Ah, y también está el calendario, sí, como dice Carla, ahí en la, en la plataforma, o cuando le mandaron el correo, sí. el calendario. Sí, pero por, por ahora le digo, o sea, la vez pasada dijeron de que no iban a programar los domingos. Ah. Eh, los, los fines de semana, dijeron. Sí, pero como son los días que tienen libre. Ah, ok, va, entonces no hay problema. Yes, 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 ok. Excelente. Sí, es que el problema que estoy teniendo que estoy, estoy trabajando extra. Ah, ahora está tra ah, porque está trabajando extra, por eso es el problema. Sí, por eso no me había estado conectando los, ah. los días, estos días atrás, okay. porque andaba en movimiento, andaba manejando, así es muy complicado. Pero Aparte para la próxima que, clase sí cree que podría estar. Eh, sí, primero Dios creo que sí. Okay. Creo que para ambas, la del, la del domingo y lunes. Sí. Ok, perfecto entonces. Bueno, les espero la próxima clase y siempre motiven a sus compañeros ahí si conocen a algunos de los que están en el grupo que se conecten, ¿ok? Ok. Bueno, pasen un feliz fin de semana. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.